guys how's it going you're getting another video from work i'm in north dakota and it is a blizzard out i'm the only one here and i'm just sitting on my patoot and uh yeah crazy shit man just wanted to show you something on and give you a reason on why you need to buy mystery shards every time they're in the shop so if you go to my market see i've purchased three things all three of those things were mystery shards the only things you should ever be buying from the shop are mystery shards ancient shards and the occasional maybe buy the common if you don't have a mystery shard in the shop because it is the closest to silver ratio that you're going to get when you get your uh, kickback from buying something from the shop. So when you do your daily quests, right, when you go up here, you go to dailies, it says buy, do, 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 purchase an, an item at the markets. When you go to do that, <clears throat> when you go to do that, it gives you 5,000 silver. Mystery shards are 5,000 silver, right? Right there, you got yourself, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, man. It's equivalent exchange right across the board. Uh, the next best thing, if you really want to min-max it, is going to be buying a common. The cheapest commons are 6,000 silver. Um, but right here, you have Pikeman. So if he was my only one and I didn't have anything else, I'd buy him. Um, and that also leads me into this, right? So let's go to dailies. You know how it says summon three champions. And then increase champions levels in the tavern three times. So what I usually do is I will buy a common. I will go to the tavern. And then I will put the common there and give them one potion that puts them up to nine. It's very cost effective, very easy. Um, and you get that done. Now all that to tell you this, right? So let's go over here and look at my event. So if you're doing the fusion, which you should be, this guy is worth going for. Um, and I'm a bit on a budget constraint, so I can't even buy my monthly pack, which is a big bummer. Um, we got 2,150 points for Rishkarm. I do not recommend going for Indala. She is not worth going for. Okay? I would go right here to Rishkarm 2150 if you're really wanting to do this real close, low budget, free to play. Okay? So I'll tell you what I had. I, I'm such a, I'm such a fucking idiot. So I didn't have any sacreds. Um, until this yesterday morning and I chose not to open that other sacred I had but before that I had gotten three because I had completed my monthly right see we're already back to one day and then I end up getting like three more from clan boss but again I always try to warn you guys about being a lizard brain and having uh, you know like ooh, because what was I? I was like 16 sacreds into mercy after I got my Calvalax, you know, woot woot. And I was hoping to get a one for one, you know, the double Lego event from the sacreds because Plarium knows me intimately and it sucks. Um, so they knew I was going to try for it and I did and it didn't pay off. I got nothing but epics and I think, I mean, none of them for me are ever going to be game changing. Um, but I had one sacred this morning. I had nine voids, as you can see, and I had 14 ancients, all right? So with those, I opened them up, and we get the total points of 1880. So what do I need? All right, we'll go 1880 to 2150. Let's see here. Yeah, we need just about just 200 and, I don't know, two something. Just under 300 points. So how, so you ask, hey, how do I do this? Let's go back here and go, well, how, you know, instead of spending gems to get ancient shards, which I recommend never busting ancient shards for this event because the point value is so shit. You should always be busting voids and sacreds for this because they will cost you the least amount of resources but give you the greatest, how do I say, the greatest benefit, I guess, because you're going to get more points, right? Um, right here, you see that? Mystery shards are one point. You could even do this with mystery shards. So 2150, if you're doing this right, you should have around 2,500 mystery shards every couple months. Just from buying them on the market, doing your campaign runs, you know, whatever. Um, and you could really do the summoning event with all mystery shards. It takes time. It is a pain in the ass. It's a little bit of a silver crunch. But it is worth it. Okay. So we'll go here. <clears throat> we need. <clears throat> oh excuse me. We need 300. And you just start popping baby. 
just under 300. And I am very, very much like a penny pincher with these because I don't do 10 pulls for my daily. I will literally take the time and open three of them at a time. So we got 20. And then we go up here, and as you can see, I'm working on some folks, and you just do this, you just feed them. Boom. All right. This is really the video I'm going to show you. I'm not, it's going to be pretty short. I did put a short out today for the first time about the weather in North Dakota, so go check that out if you'd like. Um, if you live in the north and you live around where I do, be safe. Um, it is very bad. The entire state is closed down. Again, it's been three days of the state being closed. So just a heads up there. Um, and I want you guys to take care of yourselves, all right? Keep your wits about you. Take care of yourselves. I love you. God bless. Goodbye.